Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Matt here. I'm giving you guys a very special gameplay video today, and it will be showcasing my first Black Ops 3 nuclear slash nuked out. Now, if you don't know what a nuclear is, it is just going on a 30 gun streak, and a nuked out is getting a 30 gun streak in free for all, which will obviously win you the game 30 and 0, with a KD of 30 and 0. Now, I'm going to be talking about what I was doing, what I was running, what I was thinking throughout the match. So, quick on the strategy. First, really, you just want to patrol one area in the map like you see here. I'm patrolling this area of Exodus, I believe it is called. Large map, so the spawns aren't going to kill me uh, in this situation. Like, there's going to be like a bad spawn behind me. If there is, uh, I'll have awareness to cover me for that, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But probably you want to cover area in the map and until you earn your hater. Now, how do you earn your hater? Well, you gotta equip combat focus. So, with the score streak set up as UAV counter and hater, you can earn your UAV encounter pretty easily. Um, that's probably one of the easier things to do. And then once you get your UAV, you can run out a little more. But once you get to about the counter UAV, you should get combat focus. And it's good paired with overclock, which I'll recommend later. So you can get your hater quick in about two or three kills once you activate it. And once you get your hater, you can go and leave your area if you feel like. If it's a smaller map, maybe like Combine, then you probably want to stay in your area and use the hater to your advantage. But because I was playing Exodus, I stayed in one area. And then I went to mid-map, which is lots of volume. Lots of volume of enemies, high traffic. So it was just a lot easier to do work with the hater up. So I'll explain the class. I ran the Vesper because that was the best gun I was feeling at the time. Uh, just run your best gun, whether it be the Vesper, the Cuda, the M8, whatever you're feeling, run that weapon. Usually a quick draw and a grip is best, so you get more points for other things. Perks, I was running Overclock, Fast Hands, Scavenger, Dead Silence, and Awareness. Dead Silence and Awareness are probably the two key perks to this whole setup, so you can uh, stay quiet so no one will sound for you, and you can sound for everyone else with awareness. So it would be best if you could get some headphones or a headset, if you already have one, to run this strategy. I want to say that moment right there was probably one of the scarier ones in the whole game. Nade and a flash, and I somehow still pick up the kill. That was clutch. So I'm probably be talking about the game now, considering I went over the strategy. So from here, I'm I'm at 23 kills. I, I picked up my man of war. I'm pretty happy I did pick up that man of war. Um, it definitely helped with a few kills. Uh, definitely when I picked it up, and uh, at the last kill, I do use my man of war. Right here, I got my. Uh, I can't, I can't, I think I got my hater up, and I got my combat focus, so I'm about to earn another hater right uh, after this, right there, see, got to use the last of that, combat focus, and I got my hater up. Now, if <laughs> there's one thing that annoys you, the red lines, that's because there was a vision pulse, and for some reason, theater, it kind of sticks, but anyways, now here I am, one kill away from the nuked out, I'm like, there's no one around, there's less players in the lobby, so I'm going to leave the mid area, and I saw where the guy I just killed spawned, easy pickings, man of war, got him. 30 and 0 nuked out gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Quick video, quick tips. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. I'll see you guys later.